Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have a Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark III figure here. So let's go over to your packaging here. So first you get the Marvel Leg uh, Marvel Studios first Iron Man logo there, Marvel Legends logo in the corner here, uh, the Infinity Saga, um, Iron Man Mark III, Avengers A. Here's the side art, which we've seen before from the other Infinity Saga figures. Infinity Saga logo there, Avengers A. Here's the back art uh, with the first Iron Man movie uh, poster there. If you guys want to pause and read that uh, description, you can. Iron Man Mark III, Marvel Legends logo. Here's the other side art here. Same thing, Infinity Saga logo, Avengers A. And then here's the top with the Iron first Iron Man logo there, Iron Man Mark III. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Iron Man Mark III out of the package here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, let's start off with the helmet here. So yeah, we get that nice first Iron Man look here with that nice gold paint there for the face mask area here with the white eyes. Then you get this nice red here. You get some gray texturing there around the mouth area. Or not texturing, paint job there. Sculpt is very accurate to the movie. So yeah, there's that. I do have the uh, Toy Biz um, Iron Man Mark III uh, right now. I could do a comparison with that, but let's go over to figure first. And you get some accessories here. So first, this one looks like it's a uh, missiles opening up and you get this uh, little peg here. You get some nice gold like bullet missile areas here with the black tips. And then uh, this is supposed to go on its forearm. So yeah, there's that. And it's pretty soft plastic, but be very careful with it and don't try not to lose this because it's pretty cool. And then you get this like little shield thing that you use to block all the bullets from uh, Obadiah and that final battle. So yeah, you get some nice red texture, I mean, red uh, detailing in there. Like I think they even got it in the lines right here, or maybe it's not. Maybe. I can barely tell. Also, it's supposed to go on the forearm. And it's only one forearm that can do that uh, with the peg. Whoops, I dropped it. <laughs> and then, yeah, like I said, has a peg. Same deal. And then you get this piece here, which is supposed to cover up if you're not using those. And this is what it would look like when it's um, all that stuff he's not using. This is supposed to go on it. So, yeah, you get that little peg there for it. And you get two hands that are supposed to do blast effects, but this does not come with blast effects or does not have any peg holes for you to use. But this like little piece here is a little more lifted up, so it gives it that more angled look, I guess, right angled look to make it look like it's coming right at you anyways. And you get the white repulsors in there, nice sculpt. So yeah, be very careful with that because you don't want to break these either. But yeah, nice red paint. So yeah, you get two of those. And then let's go over the actual figure. So here is his head sculpt here with the face mask open. So yeah, you get that nice face mask here, the gold with the white eyes still going on. Get the gray uh, paint there around the air, uh, mouth area. A little bit of gold near the chin, some red there. Same sculpt basically. I think they just kind of made a new sculpt for the face part here for Robert Downey Jr.'s face which is pretty accurate, it looks like there. You get, to, you get to even see the goatee and stuff in there. The eyes look good. They did a little bit of detailing on the eyes here. So yeah, you even get the eyebrows in there. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And then moving down towards the neck area, you get some great detailing in there. Let's go in the back. You get some nice bolts in there on the lats, or not lats, the traps. And then here's the arc reactor. You get a little bit of white bleeding in there. It's just defect on my figure. I've seen other people's figures where it is pretty perfect. I like the sculpt for this. You get some more gray bolts in there. And then you get like the little slots in there. And then here's the shoulder pads. So these are pretty soft plastic. And uh, we'll go over the articulation for it. They do something really cool. And then the red here so yeah you don't get peg holes but they kind of hide that or yeah no joint pegs at all actually and they kind of just made this shoulder pad there to make it like more uniformed i think which is really good i like this a lot so yeah 
there's that and then you get some nice gold paint there for the biceps and then some forearm and then this is the part where i was talking about where there's this is the only one the only forearm that does the like removal stuff so i'll show you how to do that real quick actually so yeah let's do the shield first so this is supposed to go in just like i think this yeah so yeah that's what it would look like there here's whoops wrong thing here's one where he's about to shoot the missiles if we can find a pole I like this figure a lot with all the details that it gave him. And then this is the part where you're supposed to cover up if you're not using those pieces. And then boom, that's what it looks like. And then that's what it looks like on the other arm here. So you can definitely tell this is not quite exactly, it's not flushed here, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot. And then you get that forehand piece here that's uh, supposed to guard this forearm. And then the hands I think are brand new actually look different from the, all the other Iron Man hands. And then you get the ab area here. You get some gold around the lats here. This is the actual lats. Here's the back with some gold in there. Sculpt looks good. You get some gold there near the elbow. Here's the back. You get some creases in there near the hips. Then you get some gold on the back side of the thighs. You get some very thin joint hinges there, which is pretty cool. I like that. It looks a little more, uh, what's the word? Sleek, I guess. And you get some more texturing there with the vents for the calves. And then you just front with the gold around the uh, thighs and then the quads. You get some gold near the knees here. And then here's the feet here. You get some gray there for the toe hinges, but you don't actually get toe hinges for this figure. You don't get the joints for that. And then you get peg holes at the bottom with some treads there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, and then that's all we got for the look. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball joint head, so you can look up fairly far. You can look down pretty good. You can look left and right. There's a lot of head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out that far, and like I said, it does that. And you can also do 360 rotation around there if you want. And then this, it goes with it, so that's nice. It's a little clicky. Uh, bicep swivel there, double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down just that far, and you don't want to push it too far up with these. 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint for the diaphragm, so you can go forward that far, backwards that far. Three, well, I don't want to test that out really, but 360 rotation there. Uh, you can have him pivot side to side there pretty far. That's nice. Uh, legs. So this is pretty cool that they added in. For the retro Spider-Man, he had the drop down hips. So does this guy. So now you can kick out a little bit farther than he would without the uh, hips. I think he would have actually just only been kicked. Uh, probably the same, actually. Uh, he might be getting a little bit extra out of there. And then he could kick forward more, though, with those uh, drop-down hips. Backwards, quite a lot. He has a thigh cut in there. Double-jointed knees butt kick there. That's nice. And then ankles can kind of move side to side there because he has, like, a... I don't know, it's this different uh, joint that they use for the feet here because he, you tr they're trying to get as much movement out of this as they can so there's a peg in there there's this like little ball here and then there's like joints in there i'm not sure if you guys could see it but that's how he's able to like swivel his legs like this so you can hinge down just that far this is kind of getting in the way up that far but you get some a little bit of ankle pivot in there and here is mark three fully masked up there and here is the Hasbro Iron Man Mark III next to the Toy Biz one. I really love this one now. I love the red on this, the detailing on this one a lot more. He's way more bulky, I think. This guy is just, uh, the articulation's a little weird on this one. But, yes, this is a 
big improvement on this. But I also hope that they do a Mark II version of this at some point because I think we should get updated Mark II, I think. Otherwise, you can buy this and just repaint it if you want, but I really want them to come out with a Mark II of this because it's basically the same mold, but just gray. But yeah, I love this figure. This is probably my, it's, I'm torn between either the Mark 85, the Endgame 2-pack Iron Man with Thanos, or this for my favorite Iron Man figure. I love this figure. This guy is awesome. He came with the right amount of accessories. I don't think they needed to do the Blast Effects for this figure. I don't use them really that much anyways, besides if they're flying. Um, but if they're going to fly, he has peg holes at the bottom. So and we, uh, we get a lot of Blast Effects, so I think we should be fine. But, yeah, I recommend you get him because the mold paint job is pretty good, except for that little spot there, but that's just mine. Uh, I know a lot of people got their arc reactors perfect, so it's not a big deal for mine. I'm not, not going to lose any sleep over it, um, but, uh, yeah, articulation is really good. Accessories came with the right amount, um, and I like this little head sculpt here for Iron Man for Tony Stark's face. So yeah, um, like I said, go get him if you find him. Um, but that's all I got. Uh, make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio for my Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and PayPal if you wanna help out my channel. I will be very, that would be very appreciated. But besides that, thanks for watching.